Number 45, this is for you. You're a mean one, Mr. Trump. You really are a heel. You're as cuddly as a cactus. You're as charming as an eel, Mr. Trump. You're a bad banana with a breezy black peel. <laughs> Isn't that right? Maybe so like you. Because you're a monster. Mr. Trump. Your heart's an empty hole. Your brain is full of spiders. You've got garlic in your soul. Mr. Trump. I wouldn't touch you with a 39 and a half foot pole. You're a, <laughs> you're a vile one. Mr. Trump, you have termites in your smile. You have all the tender sweetness of a seasick crocodile, Mr. Trump. Given the choice between the two of you, I'd take the uh, seasick crocodile. Yeah, that's what I'd do, wouldn't you? I'll tell you more about this. You're a rotter, Mr. Trump. You're the king of sinful sots. Your heart's a dead tomato blotch with moldy purple spots, Mr. Trump. You're a three-decker sandwich sauerkraut toadstool sandwich with arsenic sauce. You nauseate me, <laughs> Mr. Trump. <laughs> with a nauseous super nos. You're a crooked jerky jockey and you drive a crooked hoss, Mr. Trump. Your soul is an appalling dump heap, overflowing with the most disgraceful assortment of rubbish imaginable and mangled up and tangled up nuts. I think I'm out of breath after that long line. But let me tell you more about yourself, number 45. You're a foul one, <laughs> Mr. Trump. You're a nasty, worsty stunk. Your heart is full of unwashed socks. Your soul is full of gunk, Mr. Trump. The three words that best describe you are, and I quote, Stink, stank, stunk, baby butt poop. <laughs> nah. Nah. Stay away from my child.